excited to film this introduction video. I was going to do just a classic Project 10 pan, but then I saw some other creators doing the Out the Door in 24 Project Pan, and I wanted to jump on in. I thought we could be moving house this year, so I really want to get a lot of my products fully out of my collection. I know I say that every year, but particularly this year, I want to move with as little stuff as possible. So I thought this would be a good one because um, the way it works with this one is you want to try and use up the 24 items, but even if you don't, by the end of the year, they have to leave your collection. So whether you pass them on, declutter them or throw them away. So I will jump on in with the makeup items because they're the most interesting. Um, and starting off with base products, I have my strobe cream. Some of these products you will remember from my Project 10 pan last year that I just never finished because we had a baby, as you know. So I'm going to roll this one back in. This is MAC Strobe Cream in the shade Gold Light. And I think, well, it's been sitting the wrong way up, um, so there's a product up here. But I think I'm about halfway with this. Um, I did start working on this, but then I moved on to my Super Goop SPF instead. So this one was the Glow Screen. And I'm going to roll this one in as well. I don't have much left of this at all. This is right the way down to the bottom here. So once this one's finished, I will move on to the strobe cream. But I just wanted to use this one up because it does have SPF in it. So I didn't want it to go bad before that stopped working. This is SPF 30 and it's just a beautiful like glowy base. Glowy base. The only issue with, like, I have with this one is that it's really oily and it does separate. And as you guys know, I do have oily skin. So... It's not my favourite and that's why I want to get it used up and move out of my collection. So those are my two sort of base products that I'm going to be working on. And then moving on to foundation, I'm going to roll in two that I want to use up by the end of the year. I've got my Iconic London Radiance Booster. Um, again, this was in the Project 10 Pound last year and as you can see I barely have any left. It's right down the bottom here. I'm wearing this today mixed in with another foundation. Um, this one's a little bit too dark for me at the moment because obviously I'm super pale in the winter and this one's in the shade sand glow so I don't think that this will take very long to use up even with mixing it in with something else and then once I've used that one up I'm going to move on to my elf what's this called camo cc cream again this has spf 30 in it so you can see my thought process here I want to get this one used up and I thought this would be nice because this will be super quick and easy I won't need to put on like two layers of SPF I can just go in with this one this is in the shade fair 140 I do actually really enjoy this product but I'll probably mix it in with a glowy um, product as well like my Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter or I could probably um, mix in my strobe cream with this as well just to make it a little bit glowy because it is quite a matte product and then I'll use my revolution IRL filter finish concealer I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I do already have a little bit of windowing with this product. So again, I don't know how long that one will take. I would imagine once I take the stopper out, there'll probably be, still be loads of product in here. This one's in the shade C0.2. And then <clears throat> to set all that down, I'm going to use up my Rimmel Kind and Free um, Translucent Setting Powder. Already hit pan. And I alternate between this and my Fenty Beauty powder foundation. It just depends on what base products I've got on. So if, I want a, if I've got a lighter base on and then I want more coverage, I'll use the Fenty. And if I've got a full coverage foundation on, I'll just set it with this. And then I've got a setting spray here. This is by Revolution and it's the Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray. Now, if you remember, was it last year or the year before? I think it was the year before. I used up my Huda Beauty uh, Resting Boss Face setting spray and this is a dupe for that but I hated that spray and I hate this one too um it's a it's it's basically like hairspray um which is not what I wanted I really I'm looking for so I, I bought this because it said misting spray and I really want the like Morphe continuous setting spray you know the one that's like a really fine mist and I keep find uh, keep wanting to find a dupe for that because that's not cruelty free um but this one this one is not it, so I want to use this up and get it out of my collection. And then if you've got any recommendations for a dupe for the Mor Morphe one that's got like a really fine mist, let me know, please. Then I have the bronzer. This one's my MAC Give Me Sun. Probably remember it from last year. And this is how much I have left. Not a lot, 
and I say that with trepidation because you know how long these like bronzes take to use up it's it's looked like that for like months so I really don't know how long this one will take but I'm really hoping I can get it done by the end of the year and then whatever's left obviously will just go in the bin because it's so old but I think I can use this up quite easily and then I have my style blush again from MAC this is where we're up to now I've used up so much of this blusher last year um, I have it on today Sometimes I'll pop another blush on top just because it can get a bit uh, tiresome just using peach blush every single day. Sometimes I'll pop a bit of Well Dressed on which is a bright pink and it just, well like a bright baby doll pink and it just makes it less orangey. That's all for base products and then I will move on to lips. So I've got my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner. I've used up one or two of these before. Um, I think maybe just one, this is, might be my second one, but I'll pretty much always repurchase this um, lip liner. It's really, really lovely for my skin tone. It's just that neutral, like, sort of brownie nude. So I'm just gonna roll that in because I can use it with literally every single lip color. And then I've got my Jeffree Star I'm Nude Liquid Lipstick. I have been working on this for months and there is still product going. I've taken the stopper out and everything. I mean, you'll see how much windowing there is in the packaging it's it's nearly there um, and there's probably a little bit at the bottom that I just can't reach and I'm not gonna um, you know worry about that at all because I just want to get it out of my collection now so once that is done I will move on to this lipstick I'm actually a little bit embarrassed to show you this because it is so old it's from the Cinderella collection from Mac god I don't even want to know how many years ago uh, it was, I think I was in my, I think I was at university, um, and this one's in the shade Royal Ball, and it's a luster finish. It, surprisingly, it smells okay, um, but I've only got a little bit left of it anyway, so I just want to see if I can try and get this used up and moved out of my collection. It's like a very pale, very, very pale pinky nude on my skin tone anyway. And it's a luster finish, so you have to reapply it quite a lot. Um, throughout the day so hopefully I can get that one used up and moved out of my collection and then I don't have to be embarrassed anymore <laughs> uh, then I have a lip, Nivea lip balm this one is eons old as well um, so again I thought it would be a good product to put into this project because it can just go at the end of the year if I don't finish it I've already finished up a lip balm last year which you'll see in my empties video that I'm going to film in a few days but this is the vanilla and macadamia lip butter it looks like this. It's got sort of lipstick in it from where I've already used it. But again, no pressure to use up the whole thing, but I just want to use up as much as I can. Next up, I have my MAC Brow Pencil. I will not bore you to death with talking about this product because it's been in every bloody project for the last two years trying to use it up. Um, but as you can see, I really don't have that much left. I think it was in the shade Fling. Um, yeah, it's in the shade Fling. And to be fair, it is like the perfect colour for my eyebrows with my natural hair colour, which is this colour you're seeing now. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to continue to try and use it up. And I think I will because there's really not that much left. But knowing this brow pencil, it could be here till 2027. Who knows? And then I have a couple of eye products. I just want to use up this Melt Eyeliner. This one's in the shade Baked. And as you know... I am panning my Half Baked palette by Urban Decay, so I thought that's a good eyeliner to roll in um, to pair with that palette. Then I just have my Rimmel Scandalized Mascara, this is on its last legs and I wasn't the biggest fan of this one so if you have any recommendations of cruelty free mascaras please do let me know, um, but yeah I'll just probably use this for the next couple of weeks and then this will be done. Moving on to other beauty products, I have a perfume here. This one is by Ariana Grande. I think it's the Sweet Like Candy perfume. And it is just that, basically. It is a very sweet perfume, but it's not too sort of young and girly. It's quite nice. Um, but I just want to use it up because the packaging is absolutely ginormous and it's like really heavy. So it's just an easy one to throw on every day. It's quite inoffensive. So I will be trying to work on that one. Uh, and then I have a body butter here. This is just a little body shop one. This is in the Shea 
Shea Butter scent. Um, so as you can see I don't have loads left so I can just use this up in the next week or so. And next up I have a nail polish. This one is in the shade Peanut Butter. It's by Barry M. And it's just that very neutral sort of nude colour. And I don't think I have much left of this at all. I think this has been in a project before. I can see sort of pen mark about there. So whatever I don't use up will just go in the bin because it's super thick at this point. So yeah, I'll just use up what's, what I can get out of here. And then I have Rosemary Hair Oil. I'd love to get this used up. It's not that old, but it just will encourage me to continue to use it sort of on a weekly basis. It's down to this line here. So about a third of it left. Next up I have a next up I have a spray from Neon. This is the Perfect Night Sleep Pillow Mist. And again, this is quite a sort of loose beauty product, but I'm just gonna throw it in here to encourage me to use it up because I never reach for stuff like this and I don't want it to go to waste because Neon Neon's quite an expensive brand. I'm pretty sure I got this when I um, got pregnant so yeah I want to use that one up and then lastly I've just got um, some sort of toning products so I've got two micellar waters from Garnier this is just the original original uh, cleansing water and then this one is the rose and then I have um, Botanics all bright clean cleansing toner so this is just like a sort of glycolic acid type of thing um, quite a gentle version and I'm about I've got about two thirds of the bottle left so I really hope you enjoyed this introduction video if you did then please do subscribe to my channel and keep updated with my progress on these products as I say I just want to do a nice cleanse before we move house so I don't have to pack loads of stuff and this should really set me in good stead for that so I hope you're all doing really well do leave me a comment if you're joining in on this video I'd love to watch your videos as well and I will see you in my next one